Well, we're here at EV Access today. It's February 1st and it's a balmy 81 degrees out here in Phoenix. We got Ooh. Max Hart here from the Car Rentals. What do you guys call it? Heart Rentals? No, what do you guys call your YouTube channel? Oh, King of Rentals. King of Rentals. King of Rentals. King of Rentals. We got the R1S compared to the Model S Plaid. Plaid. More importantly, to provide the best customer experience, we always have out of spec on our TV channel. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. Only way to do it. Ignore the cars. Make sure you have out of spec on your TV. So right here, we got the Model S Plaid. I believe this is a 2022. It's the Batmobile. You got the blacked out. This, it's murdered. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's blacked out windows. It's all tinted out. We have some rim scuffs on it. Master wow, heat up. look at that. Still in good shape. I don't think it has paint protection film on it. Overall, like there's going to be some paint chips on it. So how do you, how do you tell the difference between a non-plaid and plaid car? It's basically just the badge on the back. The, the badge? Well, yeah. and the, st the steering wheel. They don't make regular cars like that, do they? You can get the Model S base with that steering wheel. Really? Yeah, so we have two long ranges. Can you get a plaid without that steering wheel? Yes. What do you prefer? Do you like this or I, the, the I, I don't like the yoke. That's what they call it, yoke? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I'm Justin. I don't like the yoke steering wheel. It's kind of hard to hold on to, in my opinion. See, you're about to get in an accident. You'll ghost grab for the top of the steering wheel and you'll just miss. Well, what do you do when you're turning, right? You're turning and you try to grab the middle section on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. You end up just basically palming it right here in the bottom left corner. And that's mm. how you turn it. And then you like rotate it back. Okay. So. Okay. Dude, this thing is like literally all black. Yeah, no, it's great. It's, this is it's crazy. It's in I love good the condition still. You can see it has plaid symbol right here. How do you get the the square? And there's like the I believe it was first year production. So nothing past that has it. That's what I believe. I could be easily wrong. Okay. This seems like a, a good amount of trunk. Most SUVs don't have this much trunk yeah, space. This is actually kind of jacked up right now. Let's come down. What you'd want to do is put the seats down, which this is kind of tied up in there. Yeah, see, this is a clip. This is good. So let's take so a look. So what renters will do, this is, we should take these out. Oh, even more space. But this piece right here, renters always mess up because they it's in the way. Oh. And instead of trying to figure out where to put it, they just kind of like jam it backwards, which is like anti-productive in many ways. And then you, because it's magnetic. Wow. And that goes like that. Is there any way to put it like down, down, or does it always have to stay there? Well, yeah, there is a way. They just don't figure it out. I'll show you here. Yeah, there's not a way to put it down. You can like... Oh. Hold it back like that. <laughs> so what what does a car like this cost? Uh, right like now this, in this market. I wanna say it's ninety-nine K base, right? And then rims are forty five hundred dollars. For for the rims? The tie yeah, yeah, for the rims. Holy. I believe correct. I could be wrong. We'll we'll double check this afterwards. The yoke steering wheel is an extra fifteen hundred bucks now. Oh. Cause it's, I think the base steering wheel is actually the default. Was it originally free included? Yeah, it was originally free. So it was free for us initially. And then you buy, that's about it. So you're thinking that's 105, 106 taxes is another 8%. So like 114 plus destination, like 115. What's we, destination? It's 1200 bucks. What, what is it? It's just the delivery. That's like all those all on fees for Tesla. And everybody, everybody has to get destination. Everyone, dude, even if we're buying cars and bolt from Tesla, every individual car has a $1,200 fee. So it's not like a, it's a, do all be all kind of fee. Um, so we're gonna take the Model S plat out first. Yeah. We're gonna come back and we're gonna compare that to the R1S, the Rivian 2024. Say we'll take take a quick peek at it real quick. Patrick, one of our great logistics guys here in the office. He just did a nice detail on it. Looks okay. really good. The first thing that I notice is probably the wheels. Something about them, they just, I don't know, they just look so nice. They They're aren't. big curb rashed yet so that's nice i know that is very nice the handles come out <laughs> handles come out um wow. back seat's pretty big i mean this is like a max approved sized back seat <laughs> that could fit back here you could definitely fit back there let me see here so oh there's a third there's, there's a, a third, third row. row yeah that's what i'm saying wow look at that that is actually very spacious we're gonna get we're gonna put max in the back interesting does this come down up. oh yeah, see if you fit back there look at that yeah, it's BMW-esque. If you've ever seen those X5s, they kind of do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raw feature. There's also more under storage. It's kind of pulling from the Tesla thing. You can pull this out right here. Okay. There's even more storage underneath. Is there spare tire underneath? No. Not very many EVs come with spare tires. No e uh, not, I mean, they do. This one could, I believe, have a spare tire in there. That's where it would go. Underneath but or under in In that there. little area you saw. Okay. Because the R1T does have a spare tire for us. But yeah, let's get you in the back seat. Let's see if it fit. You How think? tall are you? Uh, don't lie. Depends who you ask. Don't lie. We're from 5'11 to 6'1. Okay, okay. So he's 6'1, guys. Probably 6'3, honestly. <laughs> On a good day. 
He's gonna get back there. Oh. So you have a USB C wow. port in here. No kidding. Yeah, you open that up. You oh wow. USB C kind of fancy. Dude, most don't yeah, even just, have it. I'm just gonna see if I can get this shut on you. If we push this to the middle area, that's probably how you do it if you had. Wow. Good, bad. I don't think I've ever been in an SUV in the back row with this much space. Like, I, my is it legs, actually feasible? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, normally my legs are like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my legs up like that. Yeah, it's not like crazy, but like I yeah. sat back there and I thought the same thing. I'm six wow. foot and maybe a half with shoes on. <laughs> like, hopefully. Yeah, we'll that's back that's so we can drive. Oh it yeah, kind of blocks the view. And that's oh. comfy too. The the leather feels really plush. Yeah, some people say the seats are a little stiff. I don't feel that, it feels pretty good. Yeah, I think it's decent. What, so tell me about, is this the material on all the floor mats? That's the default. Yeah, default, I don't know if okay. I like it. I might get them changed out for some more black, plush yeah. looking, but they seem waterproof. Okay. If I've spilt kind like- of look waterproof. What, do you know what this is? 3D printed probably, I don't know. Wow. Something fancy. Is that what's in the truck? truck as well? Yeah, yeah, the same exact floor mats. Mm. It must be some Rivian type-esque product. Obviously it came from them. Yeah, I don't really like it. Okay, yeah. I'll get them replaced. We'll get some nicer it ones. Kind of reminds there. me like beachy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beachy yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of feel. Yeah, I mean, this is an outdoorsy car. So you yeah. got the. It is, it is kind of an outdoorsy. Super. Whoa. Oh, I thought that was an umbrella like Rolls Royce. It is an umbrella. <laughs> For the dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops. Dude, <laughs> Sorry, that, team. I have never seen. Rolls Royce is typically the only ones that have this, something in the door. I've never seen somebody have a flashlight. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, yeah, no, it's kind of crazy. it's kind of absurd. It's That's cool. So weird. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 smooth. Wow. Um, That's like pretty good, pretty good lumens on there. Probably have to take it out though. It's just like your oh. umbrellas and your Rolls Royces. They're gonna get stolen. Yeah. Oh, for uh, sure, for, for sure. sure. People are gonna forget. And I mean, I don't know how much. It's not this forget. Is. They're gonna find out. That's four hundred dollars. This is four hundred dollars. I'm, I'm taking a shot in the dark, but oh my God. literally shot without the, the flashlight, I'm taking a shot in the dark. Dude, that's crazy. I mean, no matter how much it is, people won't need this Even feature. if it's 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's gone. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. And, and when you go to resell it, maybe there's gonna be people like, okay, where are the flashlights? Where's the flashlight, you yep. have to replace it. And then they have the, as everybody that knows about EVs, they have this, which is your Bluetooth speaker. Wow. The car. That Do we'll a lot of cool. EVs have something like that? No, I've never seen You've never anything seen that? like this. And it has a tie down strap in the bottom. So wow. you could strap it to something on the car. A lot of this stuff keeps going back to beach for me. Like that, that would be something you bring to the beach. Yeah, no, it's just an outdoorsy car. Yeah. So let's actually, we were going to take the plaid first. Let's take the R1S for I one reason. First? The main reason is we're blocking oh, all yeah. the operations input doors. We have Carson <laughs> and Patrick back there. They're going through checklists, making sure all the cars that come in today get taken care of. All the cars that go out are checked out. We have check infos, we've checked IDs, and no cars are getting stolen today. Not today? Not are today. Sure? Hopefully. Dude, I love, this is sick. Yeah, that looks Cars that have the single bar. If we plug it in, it turns cool. green. Green? Yeah. Damn, Let's get I've the car. never seen that. Yeah, it's no, crazy. Sorry. I question if it's- Oh, show the light here, show the light. Oh yeah, it shows the Rivian side. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. a, it's kind of like a Lamborghini a little bit. They have this, can't you know, really see it too well here. Mazda floor. has it too, but Mazda? let's not bring it up. <laughs> oh. All right, let me, I'll show you how the, it's at 95% right now, 361 miles of range. It is the max pack. So um, your the, door is open mean? though, guy. I know like Ooh. you probably did shoulders yesterday. It's probably a little I sore. I did, I'm, I'm a little sore today. So what, what does the max pack mean? It just means it cost me an extra $16,000. 16,000? Is that range or speed? That's range. Oh my So gosh. I think it went from like 270 miles of range to 400. Oh, okay, that's floor. it's a pretty big increase. That's a big jump. I don't think you'd want to buy a Rivian with this standard pack, to be blunt. Uh, wow. So we're gonna plug it in really fast. We're gonna show you. We are also are probably gonna talk to the electrician here that's in the office right now because he's installing lights. And I'll get him all taken care of. Make sure he's paid so I don't get a collections notice. Collections. Nobody likes that. This thing looks pretty damn cool. What's the color called on this? Is this just white? Glacier white. And oh, glacier. It's yeah. Extra, doesn't... Like, $1,300 or something. What? Why do they charge you for white? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Moment of truth, I'm pretty confident. I know for sure at the Rivian It's charger. just the back or the front? No, too? I think the front does it too. Let's but see it. My, but what I'm, I'm doubting though is that it might only do it when it's, oh, it does Ooh. do it. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm not wrong. Wow, look at that. Let me check out the back. That is freaking cool. That's crazy, dude. Teslas don't do that. I mean, there's no electric car okay, that- Okay, so it's not, it's the light below it. It's not the big red one. Oh, yeah, it's green okay. right there. Will it tell you when it's full? Will it stay green or something? You know, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's crazy. This, this piece right here makes me a little nervous. This movement, anything that moves like that usually breaks on a car. Yeah, that's so. 
And Let's you know just, a guest is going to play with that pretty hard. Yeah, you know they're going to not know how to open it. And yeah. they're going to be like, I guess, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm going to break it. So what do you do? You just touch it? Yeah, I can touch it. No. <laughs> All right, let's put that away. Oh, whoa, what would you do? <laughs> yeah, you just you just hover it. Oh, yeah, people are going to grab that for sure. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to know. I mean, yeah. I don't even know. I got to the first charger, and I was like, all right, let's look at this for a second. And I tapped it, nothing happened, because, yeah, if you shut it, I believe if you just... Yeah, that's wow. what I was doing at first. That's it weird. Didn't, didn't work. We just got back to the office. Actually, JK, we haven't left yet. <laughs> Max had to do work. And he delayed everyone. All right, all right, all right, before we leave, what do you like better, the truck or the SUV for the Rivians? SUV. The SUV? Yeah. So we're yeah. gonna start with the SUV on that now. 2024 Rivian R1S. I'm gonna try not to sneeze here in As 90 the truck, seconds. The truck gear shifter. What do you mean? Pickup trucks have something like that. Never mind. You know what? I take that back. Porsches have it. I think every car <laughs> We got well, didn't have our Mach-E going out here in a second. Wow. This guy's going to be hesitant to back up. Every... What do you think about the Mach-E's? Um, I think their seats are incredibly comfy. That's the one comment. That's all I got. <laughs> um, everything else is subpar. In my... What do you think about the look? Uh, they're okay. I yeah, think it bad. feels plasticky inside, mm -hmm. but their seats, I'm telling you, I'll sit you down in a Mach-E. You're going to say, I could sit on a road trip. Wow. That's, that's what you got. What's the key? Is the key like a regular uh, Ford key? Yeah, yeah it's a mm. regular Ford key. So air suspension, we'll show you a couple things here. I'm going to do this so I don't crash and die. I should probably have a GoPro. I will ask G Jeeves the best way. We have our car that just came back right there. It's oh. a Mercedes. Looks like it has a huge crack in its windshield and the windows are rolled down. But that means they smoked weed in the car. Oh, to let the air out. Mm -hmm. They always do that. That's a classic. There's some great pedestrians here in the state of Arizona. That, They're the best. That take the greatest care of our cars. Yeah, the best. Um, yeah, so. What is that thing? He just oh, it's bro loaded. broke the screen on us. So Whoa. you click this right here. So you have it in oh, soft mode. Crap. We could go there. We could go in high suspension. The car will start raising. I can feel it. I can see it raising. Brake regen. Wow, this really shows, I like this, that it shows where the um, tread kind of is being worn on the tires, I think that's what it is. Just the, I think it's power distribution. Oh, power distribution, okay. So this renter sense. decided to walk to the street instead of staying in our nice, comfortable lobby where we've probably mentioned this, I mean, probably the first time I've ever said this, but we do have out of spec on our lobby TV. You can never go wrong with that. Kevin can never go wrong with that, and she could have just, she just missed out on a valuable experience. So we're gonna hopefully not crash and die here. The Phoenix drivers are yeah, unpredictable at best. Yeah, let's give this to Max. We got yeah, I, I tell this to people, I think we have the worst drivers in Arizona. We have the worst state. drivers in the world. Yeah, yeah, in Arizona, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, the state of Arizona is, yeah, yeah the sixth graders 100%. equivalent to emotional Ooh. control and driving. Test the Model Y coming back. Yeah, it's ours for sure. We just have, I mean, I. We put little stickers at the top left corner when the car starts going out. You've seen those, right? The little uh, support stickers people can scan for the QR codes. For like roadside support? Yeah, like if they ever need help and um, there's, it links them to a roadside assistance outside of Turo. So if, like some people just so you, can't. It's, your, it's a company that you partnered with? Yeah, so they can't. I always forget what it's called, but if you scan it, I can tell you. But Vehicle Genius is the one who set up. So Vehicle Genius, their CEO is Colin. I believe their other co-founder's name is Drake. They've had a you know, maintenance, they've helped the customer roadside, all that stuff. I've told you about them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Told me. They're really, really good. Um, and one of the things is they set up a system so that you would think the people who are renting from Turo could figure out the fact they should probably call Turo support. Like, if you had an issue on Airbnb, you would call Airbnb support, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe, or you'd call the host. Well, probably the host. 4 a.m., you're driving to California and something happens, there's a 99% chance I'm sleeping, right? So that's the issue. They'll, and they, like, you hear these stories, like, we didn't know what to do, so we just left the car. You don't well, wake up at 4 a.m.? <laughs> not very well <laughs> so my comment is we just kind of put these qr codes up here just to help people out it's like they usually find that i've, I've seen it a couple of times it's been like That's you only smart. get you only get that how many times you get the 4am calls honestly it's, i don't get them very often yeah it's rare it's rare you know like maybe once every three months or so like the yeah bad incidences of someone getting a flat tire but without that partnership that concept is smart like just having that with like connecting you roadside on turo Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that works. That's not a bad idea. Ride-wise, fairly comfortable. I it's pretty like smooth. It's air suspension. The big thing that I always tell everyone is like, you're just always so surprised. 
Oh. But it's like, I mean, it's pretty quick. It kind of torqued the wheel over there a little bit. Yeah. It's fast. I mean, it's not groundbreaking. I, I want to say it's zero to sixty in that four range. Okay. For an SUV. Whenever I, whenever somebody takes off like that, even if it's a little bit in an electric car, I start to sweat. Get the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, my hand, my hands are sweating right now. Drive smooth. It does. Like it does. I. Suspension's nice. Suspension's nice. I always tell people there's. I really like this feature, this little screen that shows the the cars in the area. They stole that from Tesla. Oh, they did. One hundred percent. This is like the OG Tesla screen from back in the day. But I think Tesla's is a little better. They, these glitch a little bit, and if somebody walks oh. in front, they'll like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tesla's, like move Tesla's stuff. is very clear now. Yeah, they have a it's really like, nice one. If you, we'll we'll see it in the in mm -hmm. the plaid. Tesla's, you, you can like it differentiates dogs. Trash bins, people, Dogs? stop sign. Yeah, Holy it's, it's really, really, really good. Bicyclist. Wow. Um, it knows if it's a semi versus like a regular car and it shows it. That's it, crazy. It's really, really good. So tell me about, is there like a sport mode or something in this? Are there different this modes? Is, it's pretty much always in sport mode from what I understand. Like there's a oh, snow mode. There is an off-road mode. There is an all-purpose mode. Okay. So I, I thought the same thing. I was like, where is this sport mode? This is not the quad motor. This is the dual motor long range. So I think this is more of the, this is the longest range you can get on a Meridian. Wow. Because it, like when it goes to quad motor, I believe it has less range because it's like using so more much power. more power. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Has two so more faster. motors. It's definitely faster. I mean, this one's quick, nothing crazy. GPS, smooth, definitely some sort of Google wow. integration is my guess. I like the size of the screen. It's not overwhelming. I think the interface itself could probably use some working. I think it's because everyone's used to a Windows like Mac setup. It always everything should go from like left to right, and yeah. all these buttons are in the middle. So I'd rather have it where, like, this is quick access, right? But I think like Tesla has the home screen, like the options button, as the far left button, and there's kind of like a home default screen. Mm. There's not really like a home default screen. It's like you're either in vehicle mode or you're in the navigation so that part to me after being in a tesla for the last five years it's a little like shaky in my opinion it's not the yeah. perfect user experience so you like tesla more, or like um, this more? I actually i really really enjoy it. i mean we've had this for about a week maybe yeah, max great. right maybe you know, 10 days the drive of this i've thoroughly enjoyed i have i'm a model y fanboy probably at this point um i love the model s i just I'm, like I said, I'm from Iowa. I like trucks. I like larger SUVs. The Model Y is like that midsize. The Model X just isn't it for me. I don't like the Model X. Mm. There's not very many companies making this type of EV. Like I think Kia came out with EV9 recently, right? Yep. yep. And that, that's, it, it just it looks plasticky to me. It doesn't look like a refined vehicle, you know? And I, and I think Kia is doing great in the EV world. I think the EV6 is amazing. Do you guys um, have an EV6? We do, and we, I think it's a great car. I mean, I, I could see why people are turned off by it, but they're doing a unique approach to EVs that not, like, everyone else seems to be kind of copying each other at some level. Yeah. Now. So I think the EV6 is a great car. I'm sure the EV9 will be a great performing car. The issue is the price point. Like, I'm not I'm spending, I want to say, like, maybe 80 $80,000 yeah, for I mean, an EV9? Yeah, I mean, look it up on your phone, actually. Let's see. I want to say it's about, I haven't actually looked into this at all. But I was talking to him, I was like, you could get the Palisade, is that what it is, right? Mm -hmm. That's like 40. Like, 40 that's $40,000? Yeah, those things aren't that Damn. expensive, like the base ones, you know? So you're telling me you could get a Kia Palisade for, you could get two of them for the price of one Kia EV9? Wow, like, you're, it, you're pretty close. Well, it? it starts at 56, it goes up to 75. Yeah, so like the 56 one, they probably don't even produce yet, because yeah. it just came out. You're gonna need the long wow. range. Yeah, so 75, but still like, this is, that's crazy. Only twenty thousand dollars more. I, I view this as a much higher luxury vehicle. I don't. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not spending seventy-five k on a Kia. Yeah. That's, I don't know. Some. Yeah. I, I agree. Something about it. Okay, what would you rather have, this or the Y? It depends on the scenario. If I'm going long distances, every like I'm a, I plan on making long family trips, I'm always going to go Tesla. There's no other better charging infrastructure. But if I am doing daily driving and I'm not, I have a gas car. Or I have a hybrid car or I have a Tesla, honestly, and I need to go long distances. You just can't have, I don't think, a Rivian or, so this is more of a, city or a, car. a non Tesla yeah. that you're gonna go consistently long distances. I drove this to Tucson and back, had no issues, right? You can wow. go to probably Flagstaff and back, have no issues. But I don't know how often I wanna take this to LA. I mean, it's four and a half hours away. That's probably one stop is my guess on this car. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't trust Electrify America yet. 
I don't trust EVgo. You know, but I don't, you think Tesla has Tesla's, the bread and they, Tesla's got it figured out. They're, so, so for daily though, you'd have this. Yeah, if for I if, long travel, you'd have a Tesla. If I had a second, if this was like my larger transport, my kid's car, you know, it's picking up from school. I have a charger installed in my house, Rivian right now all the way. I mean, I haven't been convinced. Like I haven't seen any problems that people talk about. There's software bugs, you know. <laughs> Ten days. It's been ten days, but I the driving experience. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's really nice. I love the um, sunroof. It's huge. I mean, it's hard to even put it in video. I don't it's even gigantic. think it's a sunroof. Oh, it's not. Well, it doesn't open. That's for sure. Oh, is that what classifies a sunroof? You're pretty confident. A sun top. <laughs> you can have the sun sunroof get to you through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this yeah. is uh, they call it. It's just like a big glass panel. They call it a panoramic glass roof or interesting something. it's pretty tinted as well i mean it has like to be dark. yeah well on the outside if you look at it it looks you can't really tell it's glass it looks black black yeah well i guess if if you don't have the option to cover it up or make it darker like you have to have the base be pretty dark well i was hoping they would have at some point is what porsche has you know where you click a button and it yeah changes like with it the glass changes. yeah have you seen that well actually i actually haven't seen that no. porsche has a like, i think it's on their tycon you can change your like you click a button and it like shades it out. Like it changes the shading density. It's like a look at. I've never even heard of that. Listen, I'm not smart enough to explain how it works. <laughs> I'm gonna be very clear about that. But I've seen TikTok videos, and that's all I know. Uh, so what what does something like this cost? I don't know if we talked about. I think that this yet. is 101 sticker price. Okay. If you're thinking out the door taxes, Rivian fees, 115. What a Rivian, do they have the same like delivery fee like Tesla does? Yeah, it's like 1200 bucks or so. Okay, so it's cheaper. Um, no, it's the same. I, oh, I thought Tesla same. was 15. I think they're both 12. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be about like $1,600, $1,500 a month, give or take. So it's not cheap. Yukon Denali's are $100,000 nowadays. That's that's crazy. Like, and the new Cadillac Escalade, the V series is like- 189. So what that yeah, is? Yeah, well, it's like 199. Or, that, yeah, it's like $200,000. Yeah, it's like 100. And after everything, you're out the door. A lot more well, in the 220s, yeah, yeah, 26 yeah, percent yeah. sales tax on 200 G's is 16,000. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so what the heavier cars this happens on the lightning, too. That zero to 20, you can feel it a lot, yeah, right? That kind of eases and up, it a eases bit. up in that picture range. It's probably because I let go of it. Here, do I, a little, do a little pull and let's see. I want to see the wheelbase, so you see the recharge, wow, and then like it has that whole wine fills sound. the back. I, li- I really like that sound. Yeah. Sounds kind of cool. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a... Well, you haven't been in the i5 yet, the new BMW we got. No. Oh, the one you have in front? Yeah, we can take it out. I mean, we can take all the cars out. But <laughs> it makes some like, fancy noises. I think that's part of their cell. It has, like, the engine noise kind of thing. Do you have a speaker in it to make the sound? 100%. Oh. That's, that's a naturally aspirated drive sound. Yeah. Not yeah, like yeah. that. That winding, yeah, that's, the, that's the motors. I've heard it in the Teslas before. I guess it could be... Rivian could be sneaking one up on us and making it sound real. But you can hear it in like the uh, Model Y and like the Model S Plaid. You're going to hear it. it. Like it has this like, it's like a jet taking off sound to me. You know, it's like winding up like it's like a F-16 fighter pilot. I'm excited to get, get in the Plaid and do, do a little takeoff. And traffic here in Arizona, we've got, we talked about that, but this is 430. We yeah. could, probably could have done this at a better time for traffic to yeah. not have to deal with all the maniacs of the world. What are your thoughts on the in, in materials in here? I think this is Alcantara, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's like people's... all over. I mean, it's... Yeah, people say that's one of the... Lining. I I don't get the craze about it. You hear about, like, I was looking at a video today for a Bentley Benciaga. That's pretty nice. And they're like, Alcantara this, Alcantara that. I'm like, I don't really care. Like, it's not like, to me, this doesn't change. Like, how often am I rubbing my face against this, you know? Like, and this is one of our own rentals right here, driving like a maniac. Wow. Should probably tell our guys to slow down. Yeah, so I'm not that connected to it. I think like it's more the wood. like the wood, though, the black wood. Yeah, the wood's that nice. That looks good. Sorts of accents with the wood. It sounds funny. You see that girl that makes those like Mercedes videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the when you push stuff, like how it sounds, the solidness of stuff. That's pretty cool. Little. Yeah, cup that holder. when it's well, yeah when it sounds solid to me, that's what I like. Like if you open a door and it has like it's not clanky, you know, yeah. it's like has depth to it. Well, you know, you take off at about 150 red lights, this thing will have some clank on It'll it. There'll be some squeakiness. Yeah. So we're pulling back up to the office. We have these Teslas just absolutely freaking everywhere. I think this guy is probably stealing a car back here, I guess. Probably is. 
You know what's actually probably happening is he's probably checking in on a car that's not actually his. Oh wait, no, this is return. Mm. See, people are supposed to return the cars in front. Let's ask him. Are you dropping off? Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate you. Thank you. Um, and then we have. You have such good customer service. Thank you. That guy was a nice guy. Oh, was there a cat? I just saw a cat back there. We have cats who sneak into our garage. Do they sneak into your cars ever? Um, no, but I've seen like right little there. paw marks and they get dusty, like sitting on like the front end of the car. Oh, Bad look. joke. There's one right there. Where is it? Right there. No, I actually like cats. It kind of looks like a coyote though in that video. Yeah, it does. So it yeah, weird. we open the door. Pretty, it's, it's a good sound. It's a good sound. Yeah. It's a really good it's sound. Not, it doesn't feel cheap. I feel like nothing in this car that we looked at feels cheap. Yeah, like this, the frunk. Oh, wow. It feels nice. That's a huge frunk. And it goes down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, I mean, I would say. You could fit like two bodies in here. We'll, we'll obviously have more information on this car throughout the next couple of months. We'll talk to you guys how it rents, you know, the maintenance stuff. But we really learn really quickly is what goes wrong with cars. And that's what Max is saying is like, you've had it for 10 days. Yeah. We'll know in, you know, after 10,000 miles and four months. Do you, is there anything that you can foresee now? Possibly? The, yeah, the, the charging port. Oh, of Anything course, that yeah. moves like that, it's very likely to break. I imagine the windshields are expensive. How much do you think a windshield on this costs? 2,600. 2,600? That's my guess. Holy crap, let's look at- I mean, you're thinking Model Y is 1,700, 1,800. It seems easily. And I bet Rivian is the only one who makes it right now. Let's look at the sunroof. Oh, you're right. You can't even tell that it's- Yeah, yeah. no, it's all- Wow, that's crazy. Hands. You can't even see through it. Can't? Well, I guess you can. When you put when you put a device up to it, you can. You know, now that I really say close. Alcantara is pretty important when you're jumped on top of the car and you're holding on to it. I know, it feels pretty good. It's a lot of bird shit up here. That yeah, looks nice. <laughs> yeah, and that's the doors over there. They're not oh. soft yet, so you kind of got to put a little oomph in them. So All right, so we are in the Model S Plaid. We got two visitors in the back. So, so. it's in drag mode. Yeah, we're in drag mode. It's quite frankly not going to get there in time. So we're going to take it out. We're going to put this in just plaid mode, which is not very fast. It's and what's, only, so drag mode takes time to charge? It has something? to warm up the engine per se, the motors. Front and Wait, right. so what do, you, what do you do? You do this and you put your brakes down and the front end will start lowering. You see how the front end lowered right yeah, there? Yeah. And then now it's preparing for launch mode. You got to give it a second. Let's just make sure that truck's not turning. It says ready to launch, and then it just goes off. Oh, Holy oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> And that is 0-60 and 1.9. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe the feeling. Yeah, I know, it's involuntary. <laughs> See, the issue is your hands start coming off the steering wheel. Dude, I'm sweating so bad right now. My hands are so sweating. I know, yeah. And it's it's if this it's, were at Disneyland, I'd go on this ride first. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel like a Disneyland ride. Yeah, it's incredibly fast. So you said you get used to going fast. Do you get used to that? I do not get used to that. That's I mean zero sixty and three point one and like whatever the space model is or three point five and model Y. You don't do it very often, but it doesn't feel your stomach, you know? I can still feel that in my stomach. Oh my and gosh. stomach just that drops. Zero to 60 in 3.1. That was 1.9. 1.9, 0 to 60. Yeah, yeah, 1.9. That's yeah, yeah. I actually great. let off because I don't know if you guys saw ahead of us, there's a car that turned out in front of us. Yeah, and I saw it going down. <laughs> yeah, because you'll get to 100, I think, in four seconds. Jeez. So like four we had about seconds? two more seconds there until Jeez. we were at 100 miles per hour. And I, the speed limit here is probably 65 or so in this area so it thinks 85 yeah at least 85 yeah yeah so the other thing you can do when you're the, the regen right so when you let go of the gas pedal this is where you get the most common experience when you get in the evs but you let go of the gas from my understanding the energy you're storing up right here so when you let go it's charging the car right you can use yeah. that as like instant torque oh. and then take off <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so that's the secondary best option and that is just as good <laughs> because it slams you against Damn. the seat Wow, that is the cr I don't. That is the craziest feeling. Yeah, this car is just fast. That's all it is. It's. I've said this to a couple of people. It feels illegally fast. Yeah, you should. You, you shouldn't be able to just put a hundred thousand dollars down and have this car. No. Here. Well, and to think that that's not the fastest mode. Yeah, it can get faster. It's four minutes until peak performance. It's just it's warming up. It's just slightly faster. It's enough to you notice it, but like. Can you can notice the difference? Yeah, I mean, we probably did 0 to 60 and 2.1 back there. I think that's the difference. Oh it's like gosh. you have to be in like peak performance mode. The issue is that 
you get out of this car, it's gonna sound like it's just gonna be running. It's either when it's still trying to warm, I took it off already. But it sounds like there's just like an AC unit. And that's it, when it's warming up? Yeah, it's trying to cool off the battery, I think wow. that's why you hear the AC running so hard. That's crazy. What'd you guys think? It's all right, you know. <laughs> I had a full head of hair when I got it. <laughs> Blew your hair off. Yeah. Holy you moly. Can expect a lawsuit. <laughs> you can feel it in your face, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. The flow of cars here sometimes is just disgusting. A lot of cars. A lot of cars. Holy uh, crap. Carson looks upset with us. Look at him. He mad. <laughs> he looks upset. <laughs>